Welcome to another Manjaro Made Easy. This time we're going to focus on Octopi, which is the updater for Manjaro. And it gets its updates through the Arch user. The easiest way to update is when you have one, you see this little ghost up here that's red. Okay, the ghost is basically uh, the Pac-Man icon uh, because the updater on this is actually running Pac-Man in the background on the command line. And Octopi is your graphical front end. So if you want to update from it, when you put your mouse up, if it's red, you know, you'll get the update, which you saw flash up there. Um, it's not doing it right now because I have something, you know, I have the recorder focused, but let's get rid of that. Um, when you When you right click on it, it gives you options that you can use. Okay, so if you've got an update on there, it's red, and you can simply go to System Upgrade. So that's one way. When you click on that, it's going to ask for a password, or first, you know, it tells you what packages. So there's 746 megabytes to download, and it shows you everything that it's going to update. For users that are advanced, you know, they probably want to know this, they can go through. For users that are not advanced or beginners, and especially people new to Linux, don't worry about this too much because all of these updates are ones that they've found fixes for or security holes in, and they're trying to get them patched. As well as they usually do if there's a problem or if there's an update for the, the kernel or anything else, those go in there as well. Okay, so to start it, you click on Yes. Uh, sometimes the options will say Run in Terminal Only instead of Yes. That's only if it's got to do something extremely invasive, um, particularly like replacing the kernel with an updated kernel. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the only time, but that those so far, that's the only time I've seen it has have not or not be able to do it in the GUI. Okay, if you click Yes, it's going to give you a prompt. So we're going to click yes, and here it goes. So now it's asking, what's your password? Okay, so it's keeping security in mind for the user. If you do not have the password, the, the admin password, you cannot perform the update. So if you just click OK, it doesn't do anything. If you hit cancel, it doesn't do anything. It's just, it's waiting for that password. Okay, so now, sorry, it's, it was a little delayed there. Permission denied is because I clicked OK without a password. So if we say cancel, it's going to say finished command with errors, but it still has the updates available. It still has to run those. So you cannot do that without the password. Now, the other way to get to this, and we'll just close this out, if you right click on this and you go to select Occupy, and just left clicked on Occupy, sorry, on Octopi, it opens up the screen we were just at and it shows you the standard Octopi app installer as well as how many updates you have pending down at the bottom. Okay, so there's a myriad of different ways you can get to this. That's that's the easiest way because it'll be there if there's an update and it won't be up on your toolbar here at all. It'll be hidden if there are no updates. Okay, so another place you can get to this is simply go to the updater or go to your kickstart menu uh, which is basically your start menu and then you have to go down to system and it's in system under add remove software again you're looking sorry again you're looking for octopi <clears throat> that is the installer by choice on manjaro that's what it deacon comes to if you prefer to do this on command line you can perform a pacman s and let's get that get that open here. Just we'll go to a terminal. And we're just gonna type in Pac-Man dash capital S. And if you wanted to do with a confirmation, you can type YY. That'll tell it just do everything, update the database, and give me all the updates. Okay, we're not going to do command line on this one. Um, we're just going to walk it through on the GUI because that's how in most 
users that need the easy route are going to be doing it. Um, in the GUI, either way you open it, in the GUI you've got a button at the top here that says System Upgrade. If there is a patch available, it's in, you know, this arrow will be colored blue. If not, it'll be gray, just like these two are. Uh, there are no, no pending actions and nothing that's been sent in pent or pending mode, so it's going to be, those are grayed out. But we do have an up, a system upgrade, so it's in blue, so we're going to click that. In this case, we're going to say yes. We're going to, we want to run it in the GUI. And I'm going to put in the password. And away it goes. Now, if there is a problem, you will see errors in this text window. And you can go back and look at them. In this case, it's saying it's, you know, it's having a hard time connecting to some of these. It's got an internet connection, so it probably can't get it from this source. So that mirror might be down. But that doesn't mean that these will all um, quit and not connect. See, right now it's getting port 80 con uh, refused. So that tells me that that mirror is currently offline or being worked on. But that's okay because there are several mirrors that this can download from. Uh, what, we, what I'm going to do if it, if it does fail, we can look at the mirrors and choose a different mirror. Um, or we can try later again when the mirror is up and running. Generally, this isn't a problem. You won't see this error. But if you do, and it finishes with no no completed uh, installs, if, it, if these are still listed as pending, that you still have updates, um, you can try again later. Okay, Because it, if it does error out, it'll error out at the end and just say, well, couldn't do it, uh, completed with error, or yeah, could not complete or completed with errors. Um, if it says completed with errors, this number may change, and it, if it changes, it's going to be lower because it's saying, okay, we, I was able to complete a couple of them, but I couldn't complete all of them. Generally, when you have one mirror down, if you have several different sources you're pulling from, um, for the you know different categories, they'll be on different mirrors. So you may, might have some that succeed and some that fail. But now that you've seen it actually do a failure, you'll know what that looks like. Uh, so we'll try this again and you know, at a later time so we can see what it looks like when it goes through successfully. Okay, for now, I'm just going to let this finish and then we'll come back in the end. I'll restart the video, the recording, um, once this finishes. So it looks like it's going to be a while longer yet. And we'll take a look at what we can do to make sure it succeeds. Okay, so it took about 30 minutes for this to get straightened out. When it did it on its own, it ended up connecting to a different mirror apparently, and now everything's, everything's done now. So all these errors for the files are for for the were from the from from the mirror that failed, but eventually did connect, and now all these are the same. They've all completed. So once you got all these uh, updates are listed as green, and it says that you have everything done, it finished okay, and you don't have any more outstanding errors. You're in good shape. That means you're done. So once once your everything's up to date like that, you're in good shape. So that's the basics with Octopi. Um, plus, you can also find use that to find different tools. And we're going to go into installing different applications off of Octopi on the next video. So for Octopi, that's all you need to do, and everything's taken care of. Uh, your system's now updated. The little Octopi ghost goes away. You can no longer show it up here. Instead, Octopi, the little Octopi icon is in the notifier section, so you click the little arrow down, and it, here it's listed here as Octopi notifier, and it's green. So as long as that's green, everything's happy, 
if there if it's yellow for some reason, that means that you have an Arch user repository, the AUR update that's available, um, but not the system update. If it's red, it's a system update from Manjaro. It's from the Arch user repository if it's yellow. So that's the basics of a notifier and Octopi. So that's how you know when you're doing a system update. I hope this helps anybody that has questions about Octopi. If you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, please leave me a like or a comment or both. And if you want more of these videos, feel free to subscribe. Until next time, stay awesome.